back again. Now here we go, really interesting one for you today. Jaguar XF, this is a 2013, 2013 plate. Now, it's one of these faults, it's really weird. We've got indicators, when we were driving it for the last time, indicators were not quite right, not working properly, not flashing properly. We had them flashing on the inside of the car, on the dashboard, but the actual ones on the front of the car weren't working. Just really random faults. The car locked all right the last time it was used. No problem at all, walked away from it, came back, nothing, completely dead. Almost like the battery was flat. So anyway, we used the emergency key, Give it a good push because that silver cap can be quite tight and pull that little key out. We pop it out the uh, out the key fob, get into the driver's door. So we make his way around there. Now this little hole in the bottom of the plastic cap over the door lock, you've got to shove the key in there. Don't be scared because it's got a tab behind it that you've got to press to pull it off. So you shove it up there, give it a good poke and then it will pop off. When you turn this, you've got to go clockwise and it can be tight. Then you put this key fob next to the steering column, like it says here, look, put it up there, and it should start. This one doesn't. Interior lights on, there's battery power, battery voltage is good. It's almost like the body control module has completely just not had it. Had this before on a few of these models, where you disconnect the battery, reconnect it, and it's completely sorted. It sorts itself out. This one's a little bit different. Went to the battery to disconnect it, and it's like a fish tank. So we go in the boot, take all the tray out and everything, spare wheel, just pull the spare wheel out, and here it is, it's like four inches of water, completely covering where the spare wheel goes. So this was completely full of water, up to this level here. Popped a hole straight through the rubber grommet in the bottom of the boot to drain the water out. Now inside there, You've got a fuse box, you've got the battery, you've got some associated wiring underneath as well. So, completely submerged right up to the fuse box. So the fuse box wasn't wet, but everything below it was. So straight away you think this has got to be related in some way. I'm not sure how, because the only thing that was wet was this little connector plug underneath. Anyway, drained it all down, there was corrosion in this plug. And the little connector plug underneath that, That little connector plug there is linked to the rear lights. And when you press the remote, it was shorting out on that. Now there must be a leak somewhere coming in, whether it be uh, from the boot seal or the lights. It's usually the lights, but I couldn't see exactly where it was coming from. So that's gonna take a bit more investigation. But the main thing here is we know that this water in the boot has gotta be related to this problem. Turns out this little connector plug that's at the bottom that's that's been submerged that's got corrosion on it as soon as i cleaned it up cleaned all the connections dried it out with a hair dryer give everything a really good clean and dry everything started working again you can just see the green corrosion around the wires on the end of that plug and that went right through to the terminals that was it it was all down to that plug with the corrosion now all i can think of this connector plug it must be for the body control module if you add a tow bar to the car. If you fit a tow bar, they come with these kits, you just plug and play, plug it into that connector plug and it's, it's got to be related to the indicator circuit, um, the switching, everything else. Body control module does all of that sort of stuff. If you get an issue where it's, it could even be connected into the CAN bus system and it, because it's shorting uh, or it's not seeing what it should do, it's just throwing everything to a, into a spasm. Like I say, clean it up reconnect it, everything was absolutely spot on. So, <laughs> I hope that's of use to you. If you've got one of these cars and you're finding that you're driving and you've got weird electrical things happening with your wipers, your indicators and all sorts of crazy things like that, just go and have a look in your boot, and see if it's full of water. So, if that's been any use, drop me a little thumbs up, comment, love your comments, um, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.